There are over 30 types of paintbrushes with two main types of hair. These are bristle and sable. However, before the 19th century, there was mainly two types of paintbrushes. Suspected to be around when the caveman lived, brushes made out of bones and split palm leaves were used for painting in caves. Later, Asians began using feathers, charcoal and shells instead. The difference of these old paintbrushes to the 21st century ones is that the materials aren't as advanced as they are now. Paintbrushes are made in careful steps to ensure that the hairs do not fall out while you are painting. First, the hairs are held together as straight as they can be, before they are inserted into a nickel plated brass tube. Second, as there are different types of brushes, the amount and shape of the hairs can be altered using a brass mould. Thirdly, the hairs are dipped into a mixture of starch and water, and dried on a towel into whatever shape is wanted. Lastly, the handle is made out of smooth birch and dipped into paint, usually black, and left to dry. Then, the brush and the handle are attached by glue between the nickel tube. These paintbrushes can last for nearly 20 years if looked after properly. One of the greatest artists who demonstrates proper paintbrush care is Bob Ross. Okay, now we can wash the old brush. And if you've painted with me before, you know this is the fun part of this whole technique. We wash our brushes with odorless thinner, shake them off. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of them. And that's where you take all your hostilities and frustrations and it's a lot of fun. People say that painting is a type of therapy due to the stimulus that we get when we're being creative. Given this stimulus, it also strengthens memory and reduces the chance of developing memory loss illnesses. Now that you know the positivity behind paintbrushes, will you consider putting the technology away and do something creative instead?